So hello and welcome back to the class. Uh, in this doubt session, we'll be discussing about this project uh, that is sent to me by my student. So he's getting beam reinforcement, something like this, which is actually wrong. The kind of beam reinforcement we generally get is, it looks something like this, right? We have got support uh, values and we have got values in the middle. It basically gives an idea of how much amount of series required the supports and at the mid span of the beam. This is how we're supposed to get the beam reinforcements, but he's getting the reinforcements like this. Now, there are two things that he could have done uh, because of which he's getting results like this. The very first thing is the definition of the object, okay, of the member. If you go to section properties and frame sections, here while defining member, he might have not changed the value from beam, uh, from column to beam, okay? We will get that in a minute. Or the second thing that he could have done wrong is the assignment. Instead of assigning beams, he has assigned columns. So let us see what uh, the person has done, and let me unlock the model over here. So. The very first thing is how we're supposed to get the results. We're supposed to get the results like this. Okay. So to get results like that, what are supposed to do? We'll go to define, we'll go to section properties, we'll go to frame sections, and we'll check if the beam definition has been done properly or not. So we'll go come to beam, we'll go to modify by show property here. And then if you come and see here, modify by show rebar, click on this. When you do that, you can see he has given beam here, he has not given column. So the very first part he has done correctly. He has defined the object, uh, he has defined the member properly. He has given beam as beam. So the second thing that could have done wrong is the assignment. So instead of de defining or assigning uh, beams, he has assigned columns by mistake. So to check that, just right click on the beam. Any beam will do. Just right click on the beam and then just click on this like this. Okay. Select the beam, select the beam and then right click on it. Okay. When you do that, you can go in the assignment object. You can see he has assigned columns. Not just for that. I think for everything by mistake, he has assigned columns. That's why he's getting the, re the results like that. So it's 450 or 300, it is a column. So how do we change this? So even if you want to get your doubts cleared like this in ETAP, Safe and RCDC, you can come and become a part of this community. Uh, you can get the ETAP, Safe and RCDC course for 1,199 rupees or you can buy it separately. If you just want to learn ETAP and save it, it's 1,000 rupees and if you want to learn just RCDC, it is going to be 500 rupees. All right. So we'll get all your doubts cleared like this or in the or in text or in email uh, support. So. If you're interested, you can just come and purchase this course. The price will not remain same. It will increase uh, to 1,500 soon. All right. So the, the simplest method instead of going and changing every single thing, what you can do is this. You go to select, select object type. You select beams here. Okay. System knows that all the horizontal members are beams. So when you do this selection, all the horizontal members will get selected. Okay. Then you right click on this and click on show selected objects only. Okay. If you do this, you'll get something like this. So let me repeat it. I go show all objects. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to change all the column assignment to beam assignment. So how do we change that? The simple technique is go to select, go to select, go to object type, select, select object type. You go, then you select what you select beams here. Then click on select option over here. All the horizontal members will get selected. Then right click, then click on show select objects only. You can do this or you can directly assign it. No problem. But I prefer doing this method. Then what you can do is you can just select all of them again like this. And once you're sure you only have selected beams, what you can do, you go to assign, you go to frames, you go to section properties and just change it to beam. Just click on apply and just click on okay like this. Okay. So what has happened? All the members have changed from column to beam. So now if I just right click on this, select the object and then right click on this, I have a beam assignment over here. Okay. So now if you run the analysis and then do the design part, we will see the kind of reinforcements we'll get. So let me just run the analysis over here and you can see we're getting proper reinforcements like this. Okay. There are some beams are failing and some columns are failing. Uh, we have to make it safe. Okay. So this is what we're getting over here. All right. So that's all for this class. Thank you.